What are the essential skills that every help desk person needs to have? Now you could be working your way towards getting a job as a help desk engineer, as a service desk person. You could be already in that job and you wanna know what are some of the skills that I need to have. Please do what you do on the socials, click on that subscription button down below and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Before we do get into this and we go into a little bit more detail, I will let you know, I've got a full length training course below exactly on this topic around the help desk. So do check that out because I know that you'll find it helpful. So if you're gonna be working in help desk, you're gonna be working with technology. So I would say elementary, be excited about tech. Be excited about tech. I can't say that enough. Don't be somebody who just wants to go and get a job as a help desk person and then doesn't enjoy what they're doing or doesn't enjoy technology in general. Somebody who is reading stuff, somebody who's listening to stuff, somebody who's watching stuff. You're watching this video, which is a great, great sign. Somebody who just lives and breathes technology because then that is, not, that is not only gonna help you as a help desk person, but it's gonna help you in your IT career in general. I always recommend being somebody who is a good communicator. Being a good communicator is essential, especially if you're gonna be working in a help desk position because you're gonna be dealing with people. In a company, a help desk person will be dealing with the customers, will be dealing with people, with staff members in the business. They'll be on the phone to customers and people outside of the business, in other offices, other customers, consultants, whatever it may be, but you're gonna be dealing with people. Be a people person, be a good communicator, know how to talk to people. Don't talk tech to non-tech people. That's something that's super important, is not only with good communication and being articulate and speaking well, it's just to remember that the people that you're gonna be talking to, the people that you're gonna be helping, the troubleshooting, are generally not gonna be very technical people. They may have some knowledge, but not as much as you. You are the expert. You are expected to know everything. That's a little bit of a burden for an IT person because you're expected to know everything. But you need to be able to translate all of this technical babble, technical speak into something that they understand. So be a good communicator and then don't talk tech to non-tech people. You need to be good at customer service. Now you've heard the phrase, the customer is always right. We know that's not always the case, but when you are dealing with a customer, you wanna be nice to them, you wanna be polite, you wanna be there to help them. Give them the confidence and the knowledge that you are actually there to help them. You're not there to make their life more difficult. You actually wanna solve their problem, you wanna service their request, you wanna give them what they need to continue their job because their job is being impacted because of an IT system issue Hence why you are now involved. Be with them, help them, talk to them nicely, and try to help them. You need to understand some of the basics around the operating systems. Windows 10 is of course one of the most important uh, technology that you're gonna need to learn. One of the most used operating systems across the world. Thousands, millions of companies will use Windows 10, at least some sort of Windows operating system out there. So you learning how to use it, how to troubleshoot it, how to install it, how to do some of the basic help desk tasks that would be very common. So how do I get my Windows computer to communicate to the network? I'm having a network issue. I can't connect to the internet. I can't connect to my file server, to my G drive, to my H drive, to my K drive on my computer. You need to understand the troubleshooting elements for your Windows 10 computer. It's very, very important. So understand Windows, understand the software that's on there, understand when you click on the start menu, all the stuff that's in there, understanding the control panel, going into the control panel and knowing what some of the stuff in there does, knowing how to install software, knowing how to uninstall software, knowing how to ping a server. So if you're having issues on the network and it's not communicating to somebody, learn Windows 10. Microsoft, of course, is the leader when it comes to all of the industries generally, okay? So you're gonna need to know Windows 10, but also with Microsoft, in the back end, in the server side, there's this technology called Active Directory, AD. Learn AD. It is the foundation, it's the bread and butter for most companies around the world. Not every company uses it, but the majority do. It's used for managing your computers, your users, your security groups, um, your servers are all managed in there, and it's a centralized repository for creating user accounts, for resetting passwords, for creating things such as group policies and all these other sorts of stuff. But learning Active Directory is essential. If you haven't used it before, 
go and research Active Directory, research AD, go and watch some stuff online to learn AD. Little plug for one of my training courses below. Do check out my link in my description. I've got a number of training courses on all things technology, but one specifically focusing on Active Directory. Now understand the hardware side of things. So I would expect that you would know about desktops, you would know about laptops, you would know the different ports on the back of them, how they communicate, how to turn them off and on again, hey, the IT crowd, how to do some basic troubleshooting on a hardware piece of equipment. You're gonna have people out on your fleet, people out on the floor, people out in your business that have got desktops, they've got laptops, they've got screens, they've got devices running into all of these. How does it all work? How does it all communicate with everything? How do you run a HDMI screen into the back of a computer? If your screen isn't working, how do you troubleshoot that? If the computer is not turning on, is there an issue with the power? If you open up, this is getting a bit more advanced, but if you opened up a desktop, do you know what's inside there? Do you know that there is some RAM, that there is some hard drives, there is, some, there is a motherboard, there's a graphics card? Do you know all of that stuff? Do you understand all of the ports that are on the back of a desktop, the sides of a laptop? What are the ports on there? What do they do? What are they called? Knowing that sort of stuff is pretty, pretty essential. I've also got a video over there that you can check out where we go into a little bit more detail around a laptop and a desktop, showing you the ports on the outside of these devices. And then there's also a video showing you the inside of a desktop and sort of showing you the different parts in there. That is pretty elementary. So troubleshooting both software, but also of your hardware. Now you will learn a lot of this on the job, but then the next thing is really understanding ticketing systems, right? Most companies nowadays will have some sort of a ticketing system, a service desk system, where your staff members, where people out on the floor, people that you are helping with IT issues, with IT service requests, are gonna be logging tickets with a ticketing system. That could be via a phone call, they could be walking up, they could be sending an email, they could be logging into a portal and logging a ticket that way. But generally, all of these tickets are gonna be managed inside of a ticketing system. You're gonna be dealing with incidents, you're gonna be dealing with service requests, you're gonna be dealing with problems, you're gonna be dealing with changes. Tickets are gonna be assigned to you, to other people that you work with, to diagnose and fix and action that particular ticket. Tickets could be allocated, low, medium, high, critical priorities. They could have a timestamp against it where you're expected to resolve this ticket within an hour, within a day, whatever it may be. Ticketing systems are pretty essential. Thank you so much for spending the time. Do what you need to do across the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on my face right over there. Do also check out some of my videos over there around all things tech. Thanks so much for spending the time. We'll see you next time.